Well, welcome to Basis 68, Interdimensional Insects with Barbara. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Hello, Myers. I'm well. Really good to see you. It's uh, good. Uh, we met before, and uh, I wish it was on a more you know, nicer subject, but uh, this is about interdimensional insects. Uh, and one of my party pieces, which I always show on these occasions. Okay, I'm going to show this to camera. It's a big... This is a valve. This is a heavy, big piece of electrical apparatus. It's a high power. Uh, it's a 12,000 watt or 11,000 watt FM, or it can be used for many frequencies, um, transmitter valve. Right? Now, this thing was in my transmitter at Energy 106. And um, just so you can see that... Um, this has seven and a half thousand volts on it. This is the final output coupling capacitor here, which couples to go to the an actual antenna of the transmitter. And this has got air forced up through it. This is in a sealed cabinet box, right? So there's 7,000 volts on that. This is going straight out to the antenna. This is the final thing in the transmitter, really, that before it goes up to the aerials. And I saw, when I opened up the cabinet to see this, for a couple of, for about three seconds, I saw a big spider crab thing on top of this thing. And when it opened, it's, it started to move away, bigger than my hand, started to move away and just move slightly. It, it was like a giant tarantula, big spidery thing, but it moved like a crab. Yeah. And that took about three seconds to disappear. It simply dissipated and disappeared. Now, the thing is, I'm going to mention Sky Television here. Uh, for some period of time, I was monitoring spider issues, big spiders, which would be on your back uh, at Sky Television Australia. This was I was warned about this by one of the uh, uh, people who worked for another company at the time. This is an extremely alarming thing. Also in my research is a guy called Ron Adams. He worked. Uh, he was at RAF Bentwaters, which was leased to the United States Air Force many years ago and his family was being uh, abducted at the base and cutting a long story short um, uh, he, he, they all had a terror of these big spiders uh, and they had totally terrified spiders um, so there seems to be a, a connection here plus I've heard reports of large spiders in the Lake District which are sealed in caves down there which have got some kind of connection to the ET bases in the Lake District and also nuclear power stations up there. These, uh, and then uh, when I first talked with um, Sarah Adams and Max Spears at the Super Soldier Summit, uh, about 2013, I think it was, they mentioned this thing, and so, so did James Casbolt. You know, they they mentioned this thing, diamond spiders, and they were fighting them in Antarctica or up in the Arctic somewhere, and they came from uh, the moons of Saturn or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's my little intro to this. What the heck are these? You, you've given me some drawings of this. And before you answer that question, could you describe how you're able to perceive these things and, and what your background is on this? Um, yeah, the, uh, thank you for the info you're giving me now because I didn't know all those stories only I what I uh, the drawings I made they are my, my personal experience uh, and the personal meetings with the spiders and this uh, uh, interdimensional uh, insects but then I uh, when I started to have it it was like 20 years ago nobody was talking about these topics I mean nobody was talking about these topics in Poland yeah. and I was I, I had nobody to talk about it. That's interesting. I've and got the sniffles, and that's an indication of something. Okay. I think it was nearly like about 20 years ago when I first noticed. But then in the first years, mostly in the summer, on the, uh, there, there were certain moments, mostly in at the night when I could feel it, I had the contacts with small ants. They were not spiders. They were sort of small. I felt like... I. I could feel them on my face, and they were trying to get in. But then I, I used to be very sensitive uh, from my childhood. 
I've done a lot of different um, uh, workshops and uh, I was studying a lot of stuff and shamanism and all kinds of stuff. And then uh, uh, I used to live in Holland for year, for 20 years and uh, I've done a lot of different, uh, different, how shall I say, like energy clearing uh, stuff and uh, I'm uh, when I'm I'm specialized in uh, energy clearing, uh, uh, personal energy clearing and uh, uh, space energy clearing. I've done workshops with Edith Dowsett, and for I I could feel quite good all kinds of uh, energy, and I could also make a, um, to, I feel what what kind of energy this is. Of is this coming from uh, uh, radiation? Of is it? Uh, is it more subtle and more uh, like we divided actually very simple in simple way we divided in yin and yang um, uh, energy uh, and uh, yin and yang energy which we can feel and we when I when I trying to harmonize the space I'm using uh, different tools to to harmonize the space and I could divide all kinds of types of energy but when those uh, it's my background is like being trained in di in different uh, uh, yeah I, I don't know how to call this but the, all my life I was very I was being very interested in different and alternative uh, way of healings and the, that sort of kind of stuff but then the, this those meetings with the insects they were uh, I'm having them for years. And the most important, uh, I start to look for the methods to get rid of them, because I felt that it could be something very uh, dangerous. I I couldn't recognize the type of energy. It was not from uh, from what I know. It was like coming from the space. And I, I and after a few years, I start to have a feeling that those insects are coming. I could feel them. Only in the, on the, some on some special days, it's like and after all, after years, I've got information. I don't know where I found it. That they, like uh, the when the portals are uh, going to be open, they those insects can access us. Like I mean, they are not all the time here, but they are in special in special moments when the, the so certain portals uh, are are open we they can they can come into the they can get us actually they were they are here to to it's sort of maybe it's not yeah it is in a way i mean are they simply to, leaking in from a natural like natural natural life somewhere else that they just happen to be coming here i feel more like uh, they are not alive they are more archon type of energy like metallic energy like um, yes. mecha mechanical stuff they look yeah. like uh, spiders, like insects. But actually, I first th those first first meetings, I could feel that they were metallic and very warm, and it was like it, it happened a few times. It happens first when I was driving at, at night in my car somewhere in in this in during the summer holidays in Poland, and uh, I was driving quite a long way, and you being in sort of state of alpha with your mind, and at a certain moment, I feel very. Uh, uh, s small uh, legs walking on my face and trying to get to my mouth, and then I I start to to clear the energy around this stuff, and it was not it was uh, immune for all kinds of stuff I was doing in my mind to get rid of this, and then I start to think that it it is not uh, earthly being, and it I can't uh, I have to find uh, a way to get rid of this. But then first time when I, oh yeah, and the, and the first feeling, uh, very, I had the feeling that if they come in, they, they, they're going to grow inside of me. And that was my uh, fear. I, I was afraid of this. And um, for a few, few years later, during the workshop um, uh, in Krakow, I could, we, had, we were having like a, uh, sort of um, group meditation and during group meditations uh, sometimes you're getting more um, I mean you could uh, see more let's say <laughs> and uh, I saw huge insects growing in the middle of my body like uh, in my uh, on, in my stomach 
And th this insect was uh, like, um, yeah, about one half meter long. But then because I was in the state of this med meditative state, I start to remove this. And uh, I get rid of this uh, insect uh, within five minutes. But the next three days, I was having huge pain. Like uh, I felt like a huge uh, injury in my in my stomach. And it was for the fir for the first time. I think it's like uh, ten years or twelve years ago. And then uh, the story with the spider happened in uh, to I think. Uh, Two years ago, and uh, I don't know. I don't know how long I had this spider on my head, but I know that I was feeling not really well for some few months, and um, and I've got uh, very sick. And during I, I've got fever, and during this fever uh, I was so weak and so um, and the, the fever was quite high, and I could so, and during the fever I could see this uh, spider or growing uh, on my back and and actually he was like a, his head was just in the middle of my back he was he was really huge yeah and, um, and his uh, uh, another end was like on the top of my head and and what you say it's ve very strange what you said because i could see the legs of this spider they were more like a crab legs they were not uh, spider legs Another and individual I, I know, um, I'll call her Vicky. She she is um, oh dear, this isn't working. Uh, she mentioned the name, the scuttlers. Mentioned how just they're, they're pretty vile things, uh, but they're primarily information feeders. They seem to feed on information. Mm -hmm. So you'd uh, see them in technical equipment. I was also advised by another specialist remote viewer who was co-opted for working for British intelligence. Um, and anybody who studies bases would know who that guy is. Uh, that you'd see them in power stations, but then the greys and things are near power stations and all that electrical things. The electrical supply systems is, is being used to get access to us with this stuff. Okay, yeah. But then uh, do you think that they're attacking people because they want to have uh, to survive? Oh, I think they need uh, electricity. How how it works? They, it's information. There's a g other gentleman called Chris Thomas who did some work on me. He said that they were um, they were uh, alien technology. Uh, they were a technology, but they were being u ma made here. Okay. Uh, but they were uh, they're alien technology but they're being made here and it was a metallic a sort of a type of metallic type of creature yeah. Yeah. and um, actually i i don't know i last year i'm not feeling this very much i think they are those attacks are uh, less they are attacking less but i don't know how many people walking with those creatures inside of their body this is very important because it is sort of like, like a virus of uh, artificial intelligence that they are coming in your body and there is being paras yeah. parasite um, in your I body. I think they seem to access on the back left shoulder. A lot of people would have a back left shoulder injury problem. And then they would have an issue with the middle ear. They, they'd maybe get a little bit dizzy. They, they wouldn't, yeah. they'd fall over. Uh, yeah. And that was because it was the ear that this thing was causing a problem to. But they're not in the physical domain some other you could see you could see them only if you're having access to in other dimensions if you, if you could a little bit do uh, of, uh, a little bit of remote viewing i also got uh, uh, training in remote viewing and maybe that's why i'm i could see it i don't know but do you want to talk do you want to talk about how you to... how you were trained i was it was very short one during conference in london uh, I went uh, years ago for the conference and we had um, uh, lectures with people doing remote viewing uh, in England. I don't remember the names. And after all, they gave us a small workshop and uh, introduced us to the technique. Was that with and, Lynn McTaggart? Uh, sorry? Lynn McTaggart uh, ran some conferences, which I think... Conference of Lynn McTaggart, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I might have been there. <laughs> Yeah, you okay. were there. <laughs> Maybe the same. Yeah. 
But this time, I'm the yeah. I I think I uh, yeah. But the, 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 you need some special state of mind to uh, to get the access to this information. And then I think if you are not a very important is to not to be afraid. But when you see what something happening to you which you can't explain, and you're uh, as a, let's say uh, your your uh, um your energy level is is uh, uh, getting uh, you are not so uh, full of energy as usually as usual for, for, i mean it's like you have to you have to make this, make a small meditations and start trying to see if your body is not uh, having uh, parasites and I, I think it's uh, maybe during this uh, when you're having a fever is also a good moment to to see it. And if you can see them, you can remove them very easily. It's only the, the matter of feel of of see them and then they go away. I mean, this is stuff that's scary stuff. You're talking really how God Almighty, you know. Yeah. Uh, so how does how does one deal with this if you one was to encounter it? What do you mean? Uh, How do you get rid of them? I mean, when you've got a big spider a, about a foot wide on top of your back or on top of your head, it's a hell of a Jesus wept. God Almighty, we're all going to run around out of back. Well, um, it, with the spider, maybe it was the worst situation. But in the moment when I could see the spider, I was trying to, like, uh, I mean, I ask all my helpers, of course, <laughs> for, for assistance. But then, then I'm I'm catching th this uh, thing and trying to pull from my body. Just know uh, it, it is so scary, but you you have to catch them and to to. I mean, I, it's difficult to explain. But if I had an well, insect, uh, just take your time it, and explain. Just take take your time. It's okay. Um, it, it's uh, like uh, yeah, maybe it's a question a question. This imagination, you need to use your imagination. Uh, when you could see this stuff, you just want to get rid of this, and you're asking your your helpers, your uh, and uh, I don't know uh, all kind of angels. And but but actually, because is that this is the technology, and our we have the power to get rid of this stuff, and it's not even so difficult. Only the most important is uh, the try to see where they are because if you can uh, uh, if you can feel the place in your body uh, where they had access and they are uh, they are just uh, sticking to you then you you can think about the pinset or for something like having like like equipment metallic equipment and you catching them like a, a tick and and just pulling from your body and they're gone it's enough only you, you it's I, every time after such a such kind of so so uh, this sort of operation, I felt uh, really huge uh, uh, pain. It was really painful because they are inside in your in your structures, in your maybe in different dimensions, but your your body could feel very. I mean, it was very painful. I mean, uh, the thing the thing about this is. What's the difference between having an imagination and imagining this stuff? I mean, if you went to the doctor and says, I've got a big giant spider on my back, can you get rid of it? You know, they'll lock you up. Yeah. So That's the point. This is the most difficult stuff because I was walking for 20 years with the stories about those metallic insects. And even I was... I, I I want to contact I I wanted to contact somebody who had the the same experience, but I was not meeting anybody. Uh, first person talking about those insects for me was uh, um, uh, uh, Klaus Vela. Ah yes, Harold. Which means Harald, sorry, yeah. Harold Vela. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, yeah, they are for twenty years. So well, this is this is actually the whole point of this basis is to discuss this. I mean, I, I've been aware of this stuff for a very long time, but until yeah. somebody else is able to um, discuss that, I mean, until somebody else is able to discuss it and you know back up whatever I'm talking about, it's uh, it's you get yeah, people will think you're a bloody nutter, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. But this is real stuff, and if we've got to deal with it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but, um, med group meditations and then trying to see the, this stuff of, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, I had a feeling that plenty of people around walking with uh, those guys inside. I and mean, then, is this something yeah. like what, they, what, what some healers would call psychic parasites or ticks? Yeah, yeah. They're an energetic creature which lives in your energetic field. And they're sucking your energy. Yeah. Have you had any uh, cases involving this with other people? Uh, no, no. Mm, only me, but maybe I maybe it's not so many people could. Uh, uh, if people if people are not aware, they are living with these creatures, and they get they got they get getting uh, sort of different kinds of sickness, and they think they are just uh, they don't know the cause of of the lower energy level, and uh, yeah, people are talking about. Uh, implants uh, or this kind of th this kind of stuff but i think half of those implants they could be um insects is, so uh, is there any other org is there any organization that you would know that you would contact or if somebody had this how, how would they respond how would they i mean if they see this stuff what do they do who do they call um uh, I have I, I can tell this but I have um, I'm in Poland uh, people are talking uh, about uh, energetic implants and they want to get rid of those implants and, and they are being sick because of it but uh, I never I I think that very often they are no imp they are they are just feeling uh, those creatures inside and they're thinking they are uh, having implants but it, it is sort of certain kind of implant actually what you're getting inside because it's like collecting information or you're, you're getting some information in your body which is not um, good for you is this I, uh, I think Harold uh, mentions uh, aspects of the Morgellons disease <laughs> and also autism uh, yeah. that uh, there's a huge rise in the number of children with autism and it seems that maybe there's an energetic parasite involved there uh, mixed with some kind of fungicidal... Uh, yeah, it could be. It could be. But, okay, look, it is... Um, one thing we can do is to spread information. Yeah. And then people are having the same experience and they are... And they are um, they could organize, organize themselves. I don't see any other possibilities. It, it is uh, only one message I can I can uh, have for everybody having uh, this kind of problems. Just don't be afraid. You only try to see what is happening in your body, and then when you could see this creature, you just catching this in your imagination, and you pulling from your body away bring away and it's and it's done it's not so difficult it's only only you, you have to act you have to do something i mean how do you know you got rid of it how do you I mean, where does it go when you throw it down what happens uh, then i'm using all kinds of uh, rituals maybe not rituals, just just it, everything uh, i'm doing with my imagination it's not like i don't do anything yeah you can also you can take some salt uh, bath or, or, or this kind of thing but then I'm doing this in my mind, like giving the um, giving um, uh, like like a soldier, like like being in the, in the uh, uh, I don't know the word. Um, you are in power, and you have to say what what is going to happen, and your body will feel would feel the pain when the, when this creature is removed, but then it's gone. You know is that I because mean? it, is I that mean, because these yeah. things uh, uh, sort of anesthetize you uh, so that you don't feel when they're putting their their, their fangs in, so to speak? Well, uh, you know when they I hang on when they. Is it because you leave a, they, these things leave a wound? 
Yeah, this thing and needs really, healing. Really, uh, you can feel this. Yeah. I I felt every time I had a wound, and the wound was uh, it, it took me uh, about uh, two three days before I uh, the, the pain was gone. But uh, it it must be uh, if, if I feel the if the wound is there. The guy, I uh, one uh, there is also uh, it depends of course how long you have uh, these creatures creatures in your body uh, because if it's not for for a short time they don't have time to grow and I I have a very strong feeling they usually they they uh, if they stay for a long time in your body they grow and they could become very huge but the, what they what I meant it's like giving a command to remove them. I mean, uh, I, it was enough for me. In any case, it was enough to to have a co to to give the command. Just I'm going to get rid of this of this guy, and he's going away. And I'm pulling this. I'm I'm just my in my in, in my imagination. I catch the this uh, thing, and I'm uh, pulling away. And it it was completely enough. It was not even. It didn't. It took me a long time. The spider was a quite a long uh, story because it, it took about five, maybe ten minutes, and it was going slowly. I was just trying to pull this guy uh, from my uh, backbones, and it uh, it was going slowly, but he was going away. And was it was wrapped? Really... Was it wrapped in round the, the backbone? Is that why? Did it have to unfurl its? Uh... I had a, what I what I could see. It was like I could see myself uh, from from the side, and I, I could see that. The, it was like uh, completely co um, connected with my brain, uh, with my arms, with my back, and it was like uh, in my, my spine, of course. And uh, and when I was removing, it was like I had a pain in my spine, uh, my back, my head, everywhere. And uh, well, actually, what is very interesting, I could see what I could see last year. It was not the uh, I, it was something different, and maybe it was the chip. Uh, it is now not about insects, but I, a year ago, I'm I'm not using any drugs, any different. Like I, I just don't need I to because I'm very sensitive. I don't like uh, cigarettes. I don't li like uh, um, to, I don't anything. I'm not using anything. But one once uh, because are we. Uh, a friend of mine was uh, helping somebody with cancer in Poland. I could, uh, they, um, he gave me a little bit of, um, uh, how do you call it, uh, medical marijuana. Yeah, yes, hemp oil. We were we were in Czech Republic for uh, for a few days holidays, and uh, and he gave me just a, a really a little bit. Try how it tastes the, this green green stuff. Uh, maybe I don't know how much it was, but it was really not much. And what what happened later? I for one hour, I could see I could scan my body, and I could see everything what was uh, uh, in my body uh, from there yeah, are all kinds of technology. I don't know. Chi, Maybe you can call it chip, and I had I found something on my head. It looks like it was like a metal plate yes. uh, with a small piece, and this metal plate was completely grown in my head, in my bones, like on my um, on the top forehead, of my... the upper forehead, upper forehead. Yeah. yeah. And because I could see it, and it was, it, it, I thought it was very dangerous and. Uh, very strange. I was busy for one hour. <laughs> I think uh, yeah, it was just exactly one hour to remove this plate, and I could every uh, small piece. It's sort of, uh, sort of uh, kind of wire, which was like like of small teeth around this plate, and they were in my head, in my in my bones. And I could uh, and I had I had to remove every one of them, maybe of hundred of them, hundred of them, uh, from my uh, head to. To get rid of this plate, and it was kind of uh, it was not living creature. It was more like somebody uh, just put this plate on me by force. 
I mean, was this some kind of alien abduction you'd gone through, or what? Yeah. It, it is sort of kind of, I think it is alien abduction. They doing this kind of stuff. Uh, and that that's why people are talking about the um, uh, chip, chip uh, techniques being uh, used last year. Of course, now everybody's talking about the artificial intelligence and it's in charge and it's, it's the ta technology from the phone companies which are actually putting all this stuff into us. Yeah, I, I, I think it, it could be connected. It could be connected with this. I mean, do you I think that or do you know that? I don't know this. I only can see this stuff which is growing in, which is in my body in, when I'm in different uh, consciousness uh, state. You need to try to, I mean, to introduce yourself in different, different consci consciousness state. And then you can use anything you like for this. You can use uh, music, you can uh, just uh, trying to relax somewhere in the nature and then start to scan your body. It, this is a technique which uh, Eric Dowsett, the uh, guy from Australia, is uh, teaching. He's yes. very good in this. And if you can scan your body, you can scan your body for anything which is not uh, um, beneficial for you. And then this way so I discovered... you can self-clean. You can... Cl you can you, it's something you can actually do yourself I'm, as a mental exercise. Mental, yeah. Yeah, and you have you need to have intention to get rid of anything which is not uh, uh, beneficial for you, and then you could see this stuff because they they are inventing uh, comp all the time something new, and we have to be very. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we have to uh, be alert. To, oh, yeah, and actually, it's not in, it's not very difficult. It's not, the, and you don't have to. Uh, to be afraid, you you can uh, you can use simple commands, but then you try you you need being in the nature or being in a certain certain relaxation state, and then to you need to have an intention to keep your body safe and uh, clean from all this stuff. Does it matter what kinds of food you eat, or does it have that? Is there a, a connection there? Uh, maybe, maybe. I'm vegetarian for years already and uh, I'm using, uh, uh, actually, no, I don't know, I don't know. Eric Dowsett is not vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, but I mean, if, if the people who eat meat, there are real parasites in the meat. I mean, that's, that's depending on what you get and how long you eat it and God knows what else. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, on uh, on the on on a different su subject. I mean, you, you've got very uh, great abilities. You've you've uh, been able to uh, detect all this stuff. The, 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 uh, what what do you do in terms of all that? What do you mean? Well, uh, you've got uh, you're very unique, or how unique are you in the kind of talents that you've got you mean you I mentioned remote viewing have you done uh any of that uh you know professionally or is it something that you can teach or do people go on courses or what I can teach. actually i'm doing workshops uh, not so much because my daily work is being an architect but i like uh, all my life i was like uh, do the heat i my, I mean, if I was not, not an architect, I would be the healer because I could heal um, and I could actually, I invent uh, a certain technique to heal myself. I mean, it was, on, on, it was based on what I was learning from different workshops, but uh, the, uh, I wrote a book, it was like about 25 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, about the lady, American lady, she was completely uh, um, paralyzed and she managed to get herself within one year from the sickness to completely healthy person. And she was only I imagining that all her, her body or cells are getting rid of anything which not is, not, is not beneficial for her. And then she, she's got the uh, power to live uh, very beautiful healthy life and I start to do the same I did it uh, for my uh, family for myself and because I was 
any time when somebody was sick, I was uh, trying to to help uh, this person. Um, it happened uh, about 15 years ago. I had an accident. I fell from the horse, and it was uh, during this falling from the horse within the, this, yeah, not even one second. It was shorter. I knew, and I'm going. Uh, uh, it's like my last moment because I had to die because it was impossible to survive because it was like, yeah, this horse was young, was not very good uh, prepared. It was the uh, doesn't matter. It was very awful accident. Uh, but when during this falling with the piece of the second, I asked my uh, all, all kinds of helpers and friends uh, from other dimensions and my angels uh, is. Is this end of my life? Do you want me to to leave, or I have to stay and to to do what I have to do? And uh, and I heard, yeah, okay, you have you you can stay. But then when I felt, I knew it was very bad for my my neck was broken and I couldn't breathe. My head, my my I felt just on my um, head and and I knew that uh, because it was such a uh, but yeah, how how shall I say uh, that my neck is broken and maybe I can't survive one night. And the most awful thing was nobody could get me to the hospital because we were in the middle of the uh, of the mountains and it was fly uh, it was far far away. And I had one night to uh, recover myself. And I had I was lucky because there were uh, two young children with the huge uh, healing abilities and they were till they could it was like till one o'clock at night they were keeping their hands on my head and that's why I survived because it was against the pain and but I was any every second I was doing that um, that exercise I learned from the book I wrote like 25 years ago is this book uh, available in English or is it no? um, yeah if I find the name I can uh, uh, I will write down the name because it's that is in English. It was American lady. It was very small book. Uh, technique of imagine uh, uh, to imagine your body, your cells of your body uh, being. I mean, uh, uh, harmonizing themselves and uh, getting rid of the stuff which is not which you don't need. Well, that's but fascinating. I mean, uh, is is it something that we can we can practice or? Self-healing. Yeah, I, 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 look, from one side it's very simple, but you you have to uh, to learn the technique and to repeat it. And and actually, I, I developed this as a sort of technique when I can, uh, let's say, one day I broke my hand during a conference, just before the conference, and I I knew if I want to, it was very important conference for me somewhere in, in on Malta, and I had to recover myself. Uh, within one hour, and I did it. It was, and I had such a pain. It was really difficult. But then, even if you have a huge pain, and you concentrate yourself, uh, you have to do, give everything <laughs> from your powers. Yeah. Then you heal your bones. I mean, I think the healing of the soft parts of your body is even sim more simple. But the healing the bones is more difficult because then you have to concentrate more. <laughs> But it's it's just uh, you need to exercise. The first thing you need to believe, because I'm a believer. If if I believe in something, it has to happen, and everybody could do this. It's just a matter of uh, yeah, teaching the technique, and and uh, repeating this. It's not I don't think it's difficult. It's not difficult. It's just the uh, you have to be convinced. You have to believe yourself. You have to believe in the good results. And you have to do this, and uh, and actually I could do it with the health problems. I I think the same technique you can, we can use uh, for other prob problems, but uh, it's more complicated. I think health problems is the not really complicated stuff to to cure yourself. But essentially, you're you're talking about um, using your own intention. You know, heal thyself. Yeah, yeah, and the same way you can uh, you can help in other people, but then it's more easy if they cooperate cooperate with you, of course. Yes, but is this uh, because you've got a clarity of thought, which is uh, you know it's it's not everybody has that. 
No, I don't have it at all. <laughs> it's when you when you feel I'm completely a chaotic person because I'm a sort of artist and I'm uh, in the moment when you ha- you being in a great da- danger and you have of you having uh, pain. You you do uh, everything to recover yourself, and that is very good motiv- motivation. I think. It happened to me a few times, and it was every every time it was working. But then we can use it also in different um, aspects, and only it is only the matter of uh, what your intention, imagination, and your what you want to reach in your life. So this is down to your own clarity, you, uh, not not you personally, but it's down to your uh, clarity of thought and the ability to to focus and have jet and yeah. so forth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, this is fascinating. Uh, the, 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 is there any other things you've, uh, you'd like to discuss in uh, this, this, this closing few mo- moments? Maybe about uh, those uh, insects. I have a feeling that uh, it's not so active uh, uh, last year. The, the, those attacks of, of uh, different kind of uh, different kinds of insects, but maybe they invent uh, some something different and we don't know it. Or maybe this is kind of uh, uh, what I uh, saw last year, that sort of chip in your body. I don't know. Maybe I I have to uh, do so small research, and you hear from me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd love to hear from you again. Uh, this has been fascinating, Barbara. And uh, I, 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 we met we met in uh, Poland uh, a, a long time ago at the uh, at the not that long ago actually. It was we had a very fine dinner. I had a steak, I had a steak about three miles wide, I think it was, yeah. And uh, it was huge. It was really generous. It was a wonderful time. And uh, it's good to see you. And is there anything? Uh, is there any other people in Poland or or anybody in England that that you that you have connections with that or people could contact you or in any way or what? Or do you or do you want people to contact you? I'm even planning to be in England next week. I don't know yet if I will come, uh, but anybody can contact me. I I'm doing workshops uh, now. I'm organizing workshops in Poland, but. Uh, uh, it's also possible uh, anywhere. And okay, what what kind of uh, what kind of workshops are you talking about? And uh, are, are there different workshops? I mean, what are yeah. they, and, and what do they involve, or how much do they cost, or whatever? Uh, now there's so much, so many information. That it's difficult to say, but then well, I I call it like personal transformation, and it's like a, a simple way of teaching to expand your perception this is the most important for your expanding your perception uh, abilities uh, and then learn to harmonize the space around you and your body i mean like the energy clearing my uh, eric Dowsett is my uh, uh, biggest uh, master i also had a, uh, i was studying in china as well all kinds of feng shui um, compass methods, and also I learned a lot of uh, uh, stuff uh, from China and Chinese culture. But I also I was studying um, elements uh, shamanism, uh, and then I think I combine what I was studying all together in uh, simple techniques to help yourself to get rid of all kinds of stuff from different dimensions, and to help yourself in daily life. To, to get more from your life <laughs> as much as possible to, to, to have uh, yeah to, to have a little bit more happy life <laughs> those heavy times we're living in fun it's really good to see you as one once again and uh, uh good luck and i hope we'll we'll be able to do some more you're just fascinating you've got a wonderful free wonderful perceptive way of doing all that sort of stuff so you know, thank you guys uh, to having me in your program and i'm very happy to to, uh, yeah, just to say anything I know, maybe can somebody can use it, and I hope to see you again. Good. Well, thank you. It's been a while. We've managed to do this eventually, <laughs> and uh, it's good fun. 
and bless you and uh, good night for this part one of Basis 68. Gosh, we're heading up there. Okay, bless you and good night. Good night. Bye -bye.